In a historic second impeachment trial of Donald Trump, prosecutors showed all new video of the attack on the Capitol last month. The day's proceedings ended with some confusion after Republican Senator Mike Lee told members that he never made statements which House managers used as part of their arguments. My point was not about whether it's appropriate for them to make characterizations. My point was to strike them because they were false. ...have been completed by the House impeachment managers. They are laying out their case by pointing to a pattern of Mr. Trump's comments and making an appeal to Republican senators who could decide the outcome. It was stunning to see body camera footage released and images we hadn't seen from inside the Capitol January 6th as rioters broke in. Impeachment managers played sound of rioters shouting about their targets, which included Mike Pence. It is no wonder that the vice president of the United States was the target of their wrath after Pence refused to overturn the election results. Vice President Pence showed us what it means to be an American, what it means to show courage. He put his country, his oath, his values, and his morals above the will of one man. Showing the impact on the former president's own party members seems a key part of the prosecution's strategy. An impeachment manager narrated this scene with former Republican presidential nominee Senator Mitt Romney. Officer Goodman passes Senator Mitt Romney and directs him to turn around in order to get to safety. Reporters inside the Senate say many senators were uncomfortable watching the videos. Republican Lisa Murkowski says the House managers are doing a compelling job. The evidence that has been presented thus far is pretty damning. I just, I don't see how uh, Donald Trump could be reelected to the presidency again. Former President Trump's team will get an equal amount of time for defense, probably starting Friday. In the meantime, impeachment managers use Donald Trump's own statements against him, saying there's a pattern to his calls to push back. In tweet after tweet, he made sweeping allegations about election fraud that couldn't possibly be true. But that was the point. He didn't care if the claims were true. He wanted to make sure that his supporters were angry like the election was being ripped away from them. House impeachment manager Madeline Dean pointed out that President Trump's team made 62 legal challenges about the election and judges rejected 61. Some Republican senators are saying tonight, though, they do not think managers have linked Trump to the Capitol riot.